coming off the previous training video where we learned how to assign resources to our task, you recall select a task down below in the split window, assign a resource. You can see over here in the Gantt chart that I've only assigned one resource to each task. The purpose of this training video is to show you what happens if you assign a second resource or more to a task. You see, project assumes that every task can be completed by a single individual or work resource. When you assign a second work resource or more, by default, project does what's called effort driven. And you'll notice whenever I select a task here, down below in the resource pane, the effort driven box is checked by default. Effort driven is where the more work resources that are assigned to a task, the less time or effort it takes to complete it. What kind of time or effort are we talking about? Well, there are three different types of time fields that are linked or connected between a task, as we see up here, a task, and the work resource down below. Wherein, when you change one, you're going to affect the two other fields. And these are the fields. For the resource, you have two fields that affect time. You have the units and the work. For the task, you have the duration. And again, remember that the units, when you're saying 100%, you're actually talking in hours. 100% is 8 hours, 50% is 4 hours. In other words, you're applying the full unit, the full rider, his total 8 hours a day. So I'll see if this makes sense. 8 hours times 5 days is 40 working hours. Now like I said, if you change any one of these fields, it's going to affect the other field. So the whole purpose of this training video is when you assign a second resource to the task up above that you see here, so we have rider 1, then rider 2. When you assign it, what of the three fields do you want to remain unchanged or fixed? And you can see right here, the task type is fixed units, fixed duration, or fixed work. Those are the three fields that are connected. Two of them are the fields, again, are the resource fields. And the third one is the task field, the duration. Now we're going to go over this more in detail in the next training video. We're really going to go into the nuts and bolts of it. But to keep it simple, so we can grasp the concept of this, we're going to leave the effort box driven check for now and just stay with fixed units. Meaning that when we assign more resources, a hundred or a thousand of them, the units will always be fixed, but of course the working hours and the duration will be effort driven, which means that the more people we have on hand, the less time it's going to take to complete it. Okay, so let's look at task five here. It's two days long, it says two days down below as well. We have one resource assigned to it, it's going to take 16 hours. Eight hours, he's giving his eight hour days, times two days is 16 working hours. Let's go ahead and assign a second resource, click just below the resource and then click the drop down arrow as we learned in the previous training video. I'm going to scroll down and select Rider 2 and then click OK and watch what happens. Because it's fixed units, it's not going to change this, but it's going to change the duration and the work. Because if it takes 16 hours for one person and 16 hours, he's not going to do it all in one day. He's going to break it up in, into two days. Then the duration would be two days. Now that we have two people working on it, each of them can work eight hours. So that's a total of 16 hours, but it wouldn't be in two days because if they both work the same day, then they can get this task done one day ahead of schedule because now we have extra help. Okay, that's what it's like when it's effort driven. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo and then show you what it looks like when you uncheck effort driven and we assign writer to uh, the interview subject matter experts. Drop down arrow, writer two, click OK. What happened? Nothing. The duration didn't get cut. The working hours didn't get cut. In fact, now we have 16 plus 16, 32 hours in two days. So what you're saying here is that perhaps you want to control this. It's not necessarily always going to be cut in half. So you could come down here without being effort driven and just say this is actually just going to take this person eight hours and click OK. What happens? Nothing changes. The duration? Nothing. You get more flexibility down below, I would say, in that you can control the duration, the work, and the units fields without being effort driven. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo a couple of times, get back to where effort driven was checked. And let's just do one more here. So I select another task. How long does it take? Five days. If I assign somebody else and it's effort driven, click in the field down below so we can scroll down and let's choose administrative assistant on this one. And then click OK. And again, it's 40 hours, but now the work is split between the two. So Rider 1 gets 20, Administrative Assistant gets 20. And instead of 40 hours taking five days for the task to complete, now that we have two people working on it, they can get 40 hours done in a shorter amount of time. They can do it in two and a half days. So that again is by default what effort driven means. The more resources you dump on it, something's going to be cut. The work, the duration, the units, 
Well, if you don't want the units to be cut, then make sure it's fixed. So by default, it won't be cut. Now that doesn't mean that you can't come in here manually and mess around with it and then click OK. Sure, you can do that. But by default, when you're not messing directly with the units and you're just assigning resources to it, it's not going to change the units, okay? You have to do that manually. I'll hit undo. And again, another way of saying effort driven, when you uncheck it, you're keeping the task static independent of the resource from its units and work. As a side note, this isn't the only place you can assign resources down here in the uh, split window, or let me come up here and select another task. Up here on the uh, taskbar, on the standard toolbar, clicking on the two dudes, you can also, let me scroll over, drag this divide bar over to the right, so we can see the task over here and still see the resource name. You can actually come over here in the resource column, click in it, click after the first resource, hit the comma, and then click on the drop down arrow, and then go ahead and select another. And it'll add it and just hit enter, and then come back up here, and you can see it's added down below. If you're really good at it, what you can do, I'm going to go ahead and hit undo, is you can click in it once, click in it twice to get the cursor in there, comma, and then go ahead and type in editor, spell it just like you have your resources uh, spelled correctly, editor1, hit enter, and that will work as well. Come back up here, you can see it's applied down below as well. Of course you get more options if you type in the uh, resources name field. Click on the little smart tag, the drop down arrow, and you'll see that the smart tag says, hey I noticed you added a new resource. Uh, by default I've reduced the duration so the task ends sooner. Is that okay with you? Or do you want to increase the total work because the task requires more person hours or reduce the hours that the resource works per day? If you choose reduce the hours that the resource works per day, guess what it's going to do? It's going to change the units because remember, 100% is a full 8 hour day for each resource. So go ahead and select it. There you go. It cuts the resources in half. So now they're just working 4 hour days. And the amount of work it takes to complete this is 8 hours, which will take 2 days, a duration of 2 days. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.